Yo guys, what's up? This is Elliot Mars uh, from Club Album Recordings. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make disgusting bass, if you want to call it that, or crazy growls, Satan taking a poo in the sewers, making the entire world smell like shit. So. Um, I'm going to start off, well, I already started off, actually, just did some settings. I'm running on the standalone, but these settings will still be the same if you're running it on a DAW sometimes, but my number four envelope is my master envelope. You turn your level up, that's your sustain, so you get like a straight sound, such as this. And after that, I did my filter settings, so on my mix fader right here, I dragged this all the way down to mix 2, and under F2, this is a series and parallel fader, you drag this up to series, <coughs> so this is running in a series kind of circuit flow, right? And filter 2 is your master filter, which is why this is dragged down to mix 2. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start off by using a carbon waveform and carbon is used a lot I know you can really tell just because of the LFOs being dropped in the wavetable position and it's really distinguishable from like a lot of the other sounds out there but lots of the sounds in Massive are so it doesn't really matter because Massive is pretty cool so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add some movement to the waveform by doing exactly what I just said. <laughs> so we're gonna drag this up a bit. But I'm gonna change my preset BPM so it's like a dubstep speed. And yeah, I'm gonna sync this. It's gonna be kind of slow, one over two or one over one sine wave. I like that because you can do a lot from, like it's just my favorite sound and I can do a lot from it afterwards with what I'm about to show you. So, what a lot of people don't really show you in like a lot of tutorials on YouTube unfortunately is like insert effects. And the inserts are extremely helpful because they add like so much body to your synth. <clears throat> and it just gives it like uber distortion depending on what you use. Or if you're using like a distortion insert, like the sine shaper or the parabolic shaper. But we're going to be using the sine shaper in this tutorial. So you drag the drive up. You drag the dry wet up as you're playing the sound. So here we go. I like to have it all the way up because it's just immense like that. So... I'm going to make this pretty stereo by adding chorus, turn the dry wet up a bit, depth, so it's too wide, and now this is where it gets fun and aggressive, so we're going to use a band reject filter too, turn up the resonance to about 2.30, 2 o'clock, cut off at the same amount. And once you have these settings for the cutoff and the resonance, your bandwidth is going to be the one that you're going to be playing with. These really determine what the bandwidth, or how the bandwidth will affect the sound. So, this is what it sounds like. Right? So... If you even want to, you can put a bandpass filter here, start playing with the performer on the cutoff, but I'm going to do that in the next tutorial. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be modulating the bandwidth with an LFO, with the next LFO that's not being used. So I'm going to make this uh, 1 2 ratio with a sawtooth. I'm going to drag it up so it starts from here and it ends here. I'm even going to do the same to this. 
keep continuity and like close proximity of the LFOs and the sound, like the timbre of the sound. So if you start playing with the cutoff, you start going down a bit, you're gonna notice that the growl is gonna get like deeper or lower. And if you go higher, it's gonna be higher. Right? So I really like that. So I'm gonna see what it sounds like with a phase on. And that's pretty cool. I like that sound. So, see what it sounds like with more distortion. So, yeah. Um, it's even good for leads. If you want to make leads. But typically, I like using this for my bass. And you're obviously going to be EQing out the lows to add your sub bass and whatnot. But this is just like a pretty fast tutorial, I guess, on how to make that distorted, aggressive growl. And you can obviously play with the LFOs even more and just absolutely fuck the shit out of this sound. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and. The next video will be the performer. Check out my SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash Mars, as well as Club Ammo. So, see you later.